Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. We're going to take a look at a product from the gang over at Wheel Engineering in Chester, Connecticut. Or maybe we can say Deep River occasionally. But anyway, um, we're going to take a look at a scene light that Wheelon has produced. They have been producing scene lights for many, many years. In fact, I've been selling Wheelon product now for almost 25 years. And when I first started selling the product, they had scene lights for the sides of ambulances. And of course, that trend has continued. But the world has evolved over the last 25 years, and definitely the lighting industry in particular. Uh, one of the things, of course, which has come into play is the use of LED technology. So you have a variety of scene lighting, whether it's on a pole or whether it's in the grill of a vehicle or a reverse backup light. But on the ambulance side of things, or rescue trucks or fire apparatus, scene lights are still important, and people like to try and mount them if they can onto the side of the bodywork of the vehicle. So whether you're in the US or whether you're in the Netherlands, uh, you may have a need for a scene light on a vehicle. And Whelan definitely has product that's worth checking out. And we're going to take a look at the 900 series. It's a 900 series Opti scene light. Uh, as I said, that particular style has been around for some time. But what Whelan has done with this particular product are two things. One, they have reduced the uh, size of the unit. I'm going to quickly step behind this counter here and we'll take a quick look. As you can see, they have reduced the depth of the unit. And what I mean by that is this. With all LED products, you have heat generation. And in fact, it's a very important factor when you're choosing LED product is to make sure that the heat generation that occurs with the diode is truly dissipated through a proper heat sink. And in this particular unit I'm holding in my hand here from Whelan, there's a very serious heat sink on the back of this unit. In fact, Obviously, you can't tell looking at the screen, but the unit has a certain amount of weight in it. You can check out the tech specs, of course, on the website. It'll give you size, dimension, and weight, and so forth. But again, heat sink is important, and Whelan has definitely done a really nice job with this unit. Another thing, too, is I'm going to turn it sideways here. Again, we'll point towards camera, too. You can see here that the width of the unit really is nice and tight. So it's a, it's a nice sandwich, if I can use that word of a light. So when you mount this on the bodywork, you're going to have very little protrusion of the light itself. Another thing too about this, and we'll swing it this way here, you can see the diodes in here. And these diodes have been set up in such a way that they will project the light downwards and out. So the objective being that if I was to hold this light directly at you, it wouldn't be so much you're getting head-on view, because with scene lighting, it's designed to be mounted up in the air. I've taken out a camera to see for a second, but it's designed to be mounted up in the air and projected downwards from the vehicle in question. So again, that's the key with this particular product. The light itself can be obtained with two different types of flange. You can either have a chrome flange or you can also have a black flange. Again, the tech specs are on the website, so pick which flange will work for you. I haven't turned it on, and I'm going to say this. This light is so intense, it comes with a warning that it can cause serious eye damage, and they're not joking, okay? Now, we're in a studio, and we've got three cameras pointing at me. We've got studio lighting. We've got everything else going on. I'm going to turn this on, but I'm not going to point it directly at the camera until the camera person behind camera one moves out of the way. So I'm going to turn it on first of all, and you will see how bright this gets in the studio. OK. It is so bright, you can see I have a sort of a silhouette of me with the intensity of this. And as I said, I'm going to now point this correctly up at the camera. And we're probably going to lose it in a second, but there we go. You can see how bright this is from an intensity perspective. It is incredibly bright. In fact, camera two has just lost complete focus because it was so bright on the iris in the camera. So finally, there we have it. From Whelan Engineering in Chester, Connecticut, a brand new scene light. It's the 900 series OptiScene. It's definitely worth a look at if it's something you're going to use on an ambulance, a rescue vehicle, fire truck. I mean, really, as long as you have a flat surface area that meets the dimensions of the unit, again, tech specs are on the site, it will work for you. Check it out. And man, it's going to light up your field of vision that you need to have lit up in an emergency situation. I'm Stuart, and you've been watching Starnet Television.